Hello, welcome to Software Pulse, building Java desktop applications, and I'm John McNeil. And in this, today's session, we're going to take a look at um, showcasing another application. Um, this one is an image library. So if I just bring it up. So the thinking and the idea behind this is in this digital age, people take quite a lot of photographs these days and you accumulate so many photographs you have trouble finding them. Now there are many online services, um, so Google is, is one such service that I'm aware of, where you can upload your photos from all your devices, have them in a central place, and they've got face recognition and tagging features, and it's a really easy way to manage your photographs. However, if you don't wish to put your photographs up onto the Google and the cloud, um, and you want to keep them um, on your own storage devices, this, dev this system allows you to manage those devices, manage those images on your local storage device. So what I'm showing you here is the main entry point for what I refer to as my photo manager. And the way you load your photographs up into the system is if I bring up, when you, when you install the system, you specify a directory where you want to be able to drop your photos. And then you can copy some photographs. Um, so if I just copy a few photographs now, and I drop them, paste them into here. So they'll all drop in there. And what the system will do is it will go along and process them and load them up into my photo manager. And my photo manager has a number of things you can do. So um, Let's start with the system button over on the far right side. If we click that button, um, it will open a dialog box which um, basically tells you the name of the database that it's using to store all the information, which we'll, we'll talk about in a minute, um, the location of where it will store the photos once it's processed them, and here's the directory where we drop photos in so that they'll get loaded up into the system. So what the system will do is it will take the photographs from this, this C temp, temp directory and it will move them into this um, pictures photo library um, folder and it will organize them by a, a sort of date range so you don't get thousands of photographs in one folder that is split into various date ranges. And then let me close that down for the moment. What you can do is you can use this filtering option to filter what you get displayed in this gallery here. So um, there is a tag that you can put in to say, show me all those that do not have a tag. And you can press select and it will show you all the photos. And what you'll see here are some of the photos that I've just recently um, imported. Um, and then, of course, you've got the option to be able to select items. So if I select that item and that item there, I can tag those. And I can say, well, I'm going to tag those all, I can't spell, all as snow. And I've tagged them. And then what I could do is I could then go, I want to... Now filter, um, I, I missed a trick there. I can filter on tags and it will show you all the tags that are in the, in the system at the moment. So I'm going to um, select those with snow and it's just these two here. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select that one now and I'm gonna press the tag button again. And now I'm going to tag with um, snowman and I'm also going to add a tag of weather forward if I can spell weather there we are press tag so now what I can do is I can say I want to filter on weather select that and I've got this rainbow one and this, this one here. And if I 
select all of those, I can go into my viewer. And this allows me to not only see the, the image and, and, and zoom in and out for the image and then move between the various images, but it, you'll also notice that I've got, I can see the tags over here on the right hand side. And if I were to um, press the X in one of them, it just removes the tagging for that particular image. Um, and then down below, if I just maximize this screen for the moment, down below here, um, most cameras these days, they insert or they attach metadata to your images. So it'll tell you what camera you, you used, what lens you were using. Um, all of that information, if it's available within the image, it's um, displayed down here. <coughs> Excuse me. It's displayed down here. So you can look through and see what sort of meta tags there are within your, your application. So you can get, you, you still have that data available to you. Um, what else have we got? Um, obviously, you've got a deselect button. Um, oh, yeah. If I come back to just viewing this <coughs> item here. So the tags that you add in are added into the database. So the file, all the images are stored on the on, in a folder structure on your hard drive. And the database is used to create a link to where the folder um, and image, which folder and image the, the actual file is in. And then when you add tags, it will link these tags to that particular image. And that's how you can, you can um, filter things. So the other thing of note is the fact that um, it will display the total number of photos that are available in the library show you how many are currently being displayed in the viewer. And as you go through and select different items, um, it will tell you how many are selected. So, so that's the showcase. So that's showcasing my photo manager. Uh, it's an example of the sort of thing you can build if you're looking for ideas on what you can build um, because either you want to build up a portfolio or you just want to build useful products. Um, hopefully this will inspire you and give you ideas of sorts of things you might want to build out. Um, thank you um, for watching this. Um, I'm John McNeil. This is Software Pulse, building Java desktop applications.